Barry from the Chuckle Brothers, a very good afternoon to you. Hello. How are you? How are you, mate? I'm fine, thank you. What an honour to speak to a, a oh, a, a <laughs> legend. I mean, I'm a legend in the radio world, you're a legend. Yes, I thought you said idol, which, which I've been up today lately. I've not been doing much at all today. I'm a matinee idol, you know. I do very little in the evenings yeah. as well. <laughs> Where do we start with your career? I mean, you start, the Chuckle Brothers, Paul and Barry, Chuckle. Yes. Um, would you like to explain to our uh, ignorant listener who's never heard of them what they are about? Um, well, we're a comedy double act, basically, uh, in the mould of sort of Laurel and Hardy, Abbott and Costello, that style. Um, and the TV series we do is sort of like a situation comedy idea where we get different jobs every week and uh, we always mess them up. But we try to do them to our best of our ability. Mm, you never kind of succeed. Life's against that, you, isn't it? That's it. It seems to be, yeah. <laughs> it's It's got a huge following. Children's TV, love it. Um, that's it's, right, yeah. It's three million viewers we get uh, regularly, yeah. And yeah. it goes around the world as well. That's right, yeah. Do you actually spend much time in the States? Do you know how they respond to it? Uh, no, we've not been to the States uh, yet. I mean, they've, they've just uh, taken, some, taken it out there. Uh, our management team have taken the video and things out there because we've had a couple of Americans over in this country who've seen it. Uh, and they love it, our, our type of work, you know. They saw us live. The guy came to see us in pantomime this year and he thought it was uh, fantastic what we did, you know. So hopefully we might get a break into the States as well. Mm. You, you come from humble backgrounds. You come from uh, your home in Rotherham, South Yorkshire, where you grew up. That's it. Um, was it difficult going from, from Yorkshire to the, the showbiz world to become the Chuckle Brothers? Not really, because uh, all our family were in show business. Our dad was a comedian uh, and our mum was a dancer. Um, and our two older brothers uh, do a double act as well. So we just grew up with the business, really. So it was... Uh, Wherever we lived, I think it would have been the same, you know. Wherever, wherever we lived, it would have just been uh, part of the business, you know. What you do, obviously, is is hugely entertaining to children, but do you ever wish you could be kind of an adult entertainer, or are you happy entertaining the kids? Um, well, we don't class ourselves, really, as, as kids entertainers. We just class ourselves as family entertainers, because uh, when we do this show, we don't aim it at any particular age group. Uh, it's written with everybody in mind, sort of, you know, so any, anybody who looks at it can have a laugh at it. Uh, same with our stage show as well. We get sort of 50% adults, 50% kids in uh, to see the shows. Um, so we base it so, so everybody can have a laugh, you know. We would, I mean, uh, we would like to have a later slot on TV, probably about 6.30 on a Saturday or something like that, or 5.30 on a Saturday, uh, which they've been pushing for for the last few years. But once you're in a slot that's successful, like uh, the children's TV at that certain time slot, they don't like to move it, you know. Mm. Do you find there's um, two kinds of levels to your humour with your live show, that, that there's a level where the adults can laugh with irony and the children are laughing at the base level? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's most of it is like that, so that everybody can laugh at it. Even if the kids don't quite get it, they, they can still laugh, you know. Mm. Even if they still don't get the, uh, the the joke, they can still laugh with the adults, or vice versa, the adults laugh with the kids, you know. You say you come from a showbiz family, you've been entertaining all your life, your parents are entertaining all their lives. Do you ever get bored of it? Uh, no, in a word. Uh, basically, it's... Uh, I mean, our year is mapped out, uh, every year is mapped out at the moment now. Uh, we sort of do pantomime at Christmas. We do a live show uh, during the spring, which we're on now. Uh, then we do summer season. Then we record the series in the autumn from sort of September through to November. And then it's back into pantomime again. So we don't get a chance to get bored, really. You know, and, uh, something's different all the time. It diversifies from one to the other, you know. You spend a lot of time on the coast to the likes of Skegness. I know you, you're huge yes. there. Um, when I was over in Skegness, I know that the, your shows sell out. Yes. Is, it, is it nice being doing the shows around the coast where people are having fun because they're on holiday? That's right, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's the same, really, on, on the spring tour we do as well. Uh, it's because we're in their town just the once in the year. Uh, everybody wants to get there, you know, so it, that's why it's usually sold out. Uh, a lot of people, I mean, we sort of read a couple the other day, They'd been trying for three years to get in and see us, and the first time they'd seen us, you know, at this uh, certain town. But by the coast, it is good because people are on holiday. I mean, even when it's raining, they still uh, come to enjoy themselves, you know. What's it like working with your brother all year? Because I know if I had to work with my, my sister, um, I would end up having to smack her in the face with a quiche Lorraine, I think, yeah. before long. <laughs> um, do you ever get fed up of each other's company? Not really, no. Um, I mean, everybody has slight arguments, but we're being family. It's sort of forgotten within five minutes or something, you know. But uh, they're very few and far between. I mean, we, we get on really well together. I mean, the whole family do. On the tour with us, we have our two older brothers as well, with the, the, the other double act, the Patton brothers. And they, uh, they do the tour with us, and we all get on great together, you know. And, and it's easier to work that way, because on stage we're all on the same wavelength. 
So if anybody comes out with a gag, anybody, one of us can uh, react to it, you know, so it's great. What, what gives you the biggest kicks of your act? Is it seeing the children laugh and making people laugh? Because it must be really stressful having to go from city to city, from bed to bed each night, yeah. and during the summer, as you say, do the summer season, then record during the winter. Is that difficult? Uh, not really. I mean, it's the buzz, as you said, from from the audience. They they give you the buzz and the lift. Even if you're feeling down one, one night, you go into the theatre if they're, you know, a full house, and, and they give you a lift straight away. So that is uh, it's real good enjoyment to, to get that, you know. Do you write the stuff yourself, or do you have people write it for you? Uh, for the stage show, we write it all ourselves. Um, for the TV, we sit down with the producer in sort of January, February time every year, and we put down 15 ideas uh, of storylines, and then we put it out to five script writers who have been with us now for about three or four years. Uh, they come up with a basic script. We read it through and uh, either reject it or accept it, and then we add gags to it. And even when we're on location filming, we can put the odd gags in that we see on location, you know, that will work. You know. So that's the way it works. Really? Now, every every good double act has to, well, any performer really has to have their own sayings. And you have a legendary saying. And c c can we do it together? Can we, can, can we have a go? To me. To you, then. To me. To you. To me. To me, then. Uh, to, to you. Thank you. Oh, isn't that marvellous? I, I can't really do the accent. That was my Birmingham impression, by the way. <laughs> Great talking to you today. You're going around the country. How many shows are you doing in total? Uh, we're doing 52 dates on the tour. Uh, and then we've got the summer season, of course, which we tour then as well. We do two days in Great Yarmouth, Monday, Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays in Skegness and Sundays in Scarborough. So we're on tour still, really, in the summer, but it's the same every week then, for six weeks. You know. Well, I know you and your brother are big heroes to many kids. I was telling my cousin that I was interviewing you today, and he was overwhelmed. Thank they think of you as a big star. Good, good. Say hi to your brother for me, won't you? I certainly will. All right, thank you for talking to us today. Barry Chuckle. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. Cheers, mate. See you soon. Mate.